morning everyone myself ansi verges of class 11c mathematics is a science of measurement and magnitude it enables to study various problems in space and establishes relation between them mathematics is a way to settle in mind a habit of reasoning in it we approach everything with a question in mind the knowledge of its fundamental process and the skill to use them are the preliminary requirements of a human being it has been the world's entire business and the commercial system mathematics trains and disciplines the mind its truths are definite and exact the student learns the value of accuracy and adopts it as a principle of life study of mathematics helps in the development of concentration by solving a problem correctly the student develops self confidence mathematical study trains the faculty of discovery and inventions it demands hard work hard working citizens are very much needed in any developing society in order to make the learning of the subject meaningful it is necessary to realize the utility and wide applications of it correlation of mathematical knowledge with life and other sciences will make the learning joyful and you will feel it's true to say that mathematics is a queen of all sciences thank you national mathematics day the indian government declared 22 december to be the national mathematics day this was announced by the prime minister manmohan singh on 26 february 2012 at madras university during the inaugural ceremony of the celebration to mark the 125th birth anniversary of the indian mathematician genius shri nivas ramanujan on this occasion singh also announced that 2012 would be celebrated as national mathematics year Every year the country celebrates National Mathematics Day on December 22 to commemorate the birth anniversary of mathematician Sri Nivas Ramanujan. He was born in 1887 in Erode, Tamil Nadu. The story of Ramanujan Christ with mathematics is one of the most engaging tales read, depicted and performed through various works of art. From his childhood he has a huge passion for mathematics so much so that at the age of 12 he had mastered trigonometry and developed many theorems of his own with no assistance he was awarded a scholarship to study at a government arts college kumbakonam but he eventually lost it due to his abysmal performance in other subjects He ran away from home and enrolled himself at Pachayappa's college in Madras with the support of mathematician Ramaswamy Iyer he got a job as a clerk at the Madras Port Trust his breakthrough finally came in the year 1913 when Ramanujan wrote to G H Haraday the British mathematician on releasing Ramanujan's genius wrote back to him invited to london haraday then got ramanujan into trinity college cambridge and what began was captivating saga of success in 1917 ramanujan was elected to be a member of london mathematical society in 1918 he also became a fellow of the royal society becoming the youngest person to achieve that feat the london weather and the poor eating habits slowly affecting the health of ramanujan and he breathed his last in kumbakonam at an age of 32 the mathematics wizard made a significant contribution to mock theta function that generalizes the form of jacobi theta functions while preserving their general properties thank you and have a nice day did you know that 2520 is the smallest number divided by all the numbers from 1 to 10 mathematics of high achievement start with your brain multiply all the possibilities divide all the problems one by one and conquer them subtract all the negative thoughts and add enthusiasm and determination and the result will be the achievement of your goal 
Mathematics is not about numbers, equations, algorithms, etc. It is all about understanding, said by William Paul Thurston. William Paul Thurston was an American mathematician. His greatest discovery is the theory of surfaces. Theory of surfaces, theory of geometrization and many more. We usually hear about mathematicians like Pythagoras, Archimedes, then Blaise Pascal and many more old mathematicians. But we today I will be telling you about modern mathematicians. Number one, John Horton Conway. John Horton Conway was an English mathematician who was active in the theory of coding, theory of finite groups and many more. His contributions, he also made contributions to many branches of recreational mathematics. For example, the game of life. Number two, Sir Michael Francis Attea. He was a British mathematician specialized in geometry. He is known for K theory, Siegel completion theory, Singer index theory. Number 3. Robert Langlands Robert Langlands is a Canadian and is considered as one of the world's greatest mathematicians of the time. He discovered some few patterns in some objects called automorphic forms. His universe is the outer limits of pure mathematics. Number 4. Sir Andrew John Wives Sir Andrew John Wives is also a mathematician who has specialized in number theory. He is known for solving or proving the Fermat's last theorem. Number 5. Sia Rao. Sia Rao is also a great mathematician from India. He is best known for estimation theory, black hole theorem and many more. Now, I would like to conclude my words by saying that mathematics may not teach us how to add love or minus heat, but it gives us every reason to hope that Every problem has a solution. So let's hope for great mathematicians for the upcoming generations. Thank you. Good morning students. Myself Anamika Ajesh. I'm of class 11th B. Today I'm here to explain a puzzle. The name of the puzzle is Creative Elimination. So here's our puzzle. Creative Elimination. Here's a star. There are 10 coins. There are some instructions to be followed to solve this puzzle. First one, count 1, 2, 3 in a straight line. We have to count 1, 2, 3 in a straight line. We can't count it as 1, 2, 3. We have to count in a straight line only. Then we have to remove the third coin. Like 1, 2, 3. This is the third coin. So we have to remove the third coin. Then we can't start counting from an empty shell. This is an empty shell because we removed the coin. So we can't start counting from an em empty shell. But we can count the empty shell as the second one. Like 1, 2, 3. This is an empty shell. We have taken it as the second one. So then we have to continue the process then at last only one coin must be left at last all the coins must be removed and only one coin must be left so let's try once for example i'm starting from here one two three I'm removing this one one two three removing this one then one two three removing this one then one Two, three. This is an empty shell. I have taken it as the second one. So no issues. One, two, three. Removing this one. Then uh, one, two, three. Removing this one. See, there are five coins left. No other way to remove any coin. So it was mentioned that only one coin must be left. But here five coins are left. So now I will explain the solution to you people. That how to solve this puzzle the simple logic behind this puzzle is that from where we started there we have to end so now i will explain the solution i'm starting it from here one two three i'm removing this one i have started from here so i have to remove this coin to remove this coin i have to start from here one two three removing this one then i have to remove this one to remove this one i have to start from here one 2, 3, removing this one, 
then I have to remove this one so I have to start from here one two three removing this one then I have to remove this coin so I am starting from here one two three removing this one then I have to remove this coin so I have to start from here one two three I'm removing this one then I have to remove this coin to remove this coin I have to start from here no other option so one two three removing this one then I have to remove this coin so one two three removing this coin then I have to remove this coin so I'm starting from here one two three removing this coin so see people uh, there is only one coin left here all the other coins removed only one coin left so this was the puzzle I hope you people understood the solution and enjoyed the puzzle Thank you. Hello, I'm Abhiram and I'm going to show you a few tricks that will help you to do calculations more quickly.